All right, welcome back to Wise Car Mods. So if you can't tell, I've been a little busy. And if you've actually placed any orders, you guys have been the ones that have been keeping me busy because I've produced quite a few speed mod boards over the past few weeks. So I've been a little busy to be able to put together some more um, videos. But here we are. So I wanted to talk about some of the requests I've gotten, which is the wireless charging and then the oil filled shocks that you would find on a custom RC car. And then what we're gonna be doing some videos over the next couple of weeks are gonna be obviously my monster truck, pun intended. And if anybody has ordered a Wise Car recently, you might know what this box looks like. There might be two more in here ready to be unboxed and modified. And then also, if you haven't visited Justin yet to get your custom you know, drink holder, your dump truck pieces, which I did paint. And by the way, I found that the Rust-Oleum paint that bonds with wood metal plastic was actually a really perfect color to match the, um, the rest of the car. And then one of the other things I've gotten recently is, hey, I've seen other people do videos where they do the extra antenna on top. So yes, I did that too. And I have another one. So we'll probably do one of these and make them into something that gets a little bit extra range. When I drove it, it does actually add a little bit of range. I don't know if it's totally worth it, but you know, since you guys asked for it, we'll go ahead and do it, all right? All right, so let's take a closer look at this car and see what we can do about the wireless charging. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the wireless charging first, and then we'll talk about the shock. So I actually got this nice little wireless charger, which I will put a link to on uh, the description for, from Amazon. Just basically a regular plug, a super long cord, and at the end, you've got this. Let's see if I can get it, there we go, zoom in. So basically it's just a little magnetic clip on the end. It comes with three adapters that basically plug directly into whatever you wanna plug. So there's a USB-C, there's a micro USB, and then an iPhone adapter, which I don't have an iPhone, so I'm not really using that one. But um, what I did use is one in this car and one in the other one. And I know people were talking about, oh, maybe you could do a wireless charging maybe underneath but it just seems like the the simplest idea is to just have this baby hanging wherever you want and then you get the car near it and it's just gonna hook right up it's super simple it's like just the easiest thing and then of course it just takes a slight tug to pull it away so again just this is absolutely the um, easiest thing you could do whether you back it up or for my my opinion, I just throw it up there and just throw the wire near it and it just connects and you're done. So that one's easy, it's like 10 bucks. I'm definitely gonna order another one since I have two more wise cars to deal with. Uh, I wanna have a plug for each one of those as well. And again, it makes everything easier. So let's talk about the shocks. Now, I only did the shocks on the front because the way these things are is they give you a little bit of extra movement from side to side as well as it being up and down. The problem I ran into is when I put it on all four, I started having an issue where the car would sit weird like that all the time. And when you would go around a turn, it would have a very good turn radius. Like if I, if I go back up and I turn, the back wheel actually lifts off the ground and you get a really tight turn. So again, I only recommend probably doing the front two just so you get the little bit of benefit from the, uh, the tires. And then the other thing is, obviously I did black. There were many other options. So these are a 70 millimeter oil filled shock. Probably can do different weights. People who know a lot more about RC cars would know, you know, what, what weight oil to use. I basically picked up the first thing that came up on Amazon, which is a 30 weight. Probably should do higher if these are considered like a crawler, which I think they are. 
but let's just take a peek at these real quick. I'll pull them back off so you can take a look. The screws that they came with fit right into the same hole that the existing screws went into, which was super nice. And these were not that hard to take apart either. Now, when you order them, you need to order oil because there was nothing inside of them when I got it. One. And two. Now I saw that these shocks came in like blue and a bunch of different colors. So absolutely, if you wanna get shocks and have different colors, by all means, go for it. You don't have to order the ones that I put up on the link to Amazon. Let's get the two screws off. So, the way these are set up is they come with a bunch of little adapters. The top piece, I just chose the little part that is right there. It doesn't stick out, but in the bottom to make sure it fits flush, there's an adapter which extends it out on this side. Let's see if I move it over a little bit. Extends it out a little bit. So the screw goes through the middle and then this actually allows it to to work around a little bit. So it's not quite so stiff. Because if you look at the ones on here, these are basically flush mounted and you don't get any side to side movement on these because these fit right around that little slot. All right, so now in order to fill these up, I'm no expert, but Basically, you can take these little shocks off like this, and then this unscrews. Takes a little bit of effort, but there we go. So, let me not spill it. But basically, uh, maybe we should add a little bit more. Um, yeah, basically you just unscrew this, this cap, fill it up, put it back on. Now this one here, this other piece that you can turn, this is so you can adjust the shock to be either taller or shorter. I did it basically all the way down as far as I could because I needed it as stiff as it could be because once I put it on there, it, it's pretty soft and it gives it a lot of bounce and allows it to get up over things. So you definitely wanna make sure that you, um, probably if you're doing exactly what I'm doing, go ahead and tighten it down all the way. Since we've got it open, I'll show you how to add the oil. Just basically fill it up. I watched other YouTube videos about how to do this. This is basically the same process as any other hobby RC. And you just fill it up to the top, just barely enough and then you need to press it in all the way. And then put your cap back on. And you let it go. So basically when you go to put this on, Oh, I can show you this other side too. So when you press this spring in, this little piece comes off and then you can get this off. So you could take this off beforehand. That way you can do it. So yeah, you'll see that when you push it in, if you've got the oil in there properly, it actually pushes back out. So if you get one of these and you don't have any oil in it, when you push it in, it's not gonna come back out. So this is what's providing you that little bit of cushion. The shocks are just there to just keep everything tight. There we go. All right, so we'll put the spring back on and that's it. So all you have to do is put it back on and we are good to go. So you see that's got the little, it only fits one way. Put the spring back on, good to go. And like I said, it looks to me like this is 
installed the opposite way. So you could do the stock, the shock either direction. I just put it back on the same way that the ones that came with it were installed, which is in this direction. So I've got this shock, actually I feel like upside down because it looks to me like when I see them on cars, they would go this direction. So if you install it, you absolutely can install it that way. I just kept it consistent with the rear shocks. All right, so I'm gonna put this baby back on and then I'll add a little bit of video of it driving around.